Anonymous, they were it. Anonymous here. I uh, haven't been doing a whole lot of these these uh, videos uh, of late, so I wanted to start back up in, and get in a good rhythm as we move into summer. So I thought I'd go over uh, some of the most common questions we get a lot of times is essentially, what's that for? Um, things in the in the forms and the doulon and the drills and everything like that, a lot of people have a question on exactly why it's there. We've done videos on orbits and all that kind of stuff. We'll go over some some more complicated moves here. Uh, the uh, first one we'll go over here is uh, one that I think is uh, pretty versatile, um, but it is um, sometimes, it's, it's counterintuitive, so that's why um, I, I, I really like it. And it's in the second trajectory of the Shicho. Um, and after you come up to this position here, you do a circle down to your knee there, and then, of course, into your sort of like sweeps like that. <clears throat> so um, it can be confusing exactly what is going on right there um, as, as, as far as how, how to use it. So, we can think about here, and we're, we're constantly thinking when we're going here that this is a choke, so this is an attack, right? But any attack can also be a parry. And the thing with Shicho is most of them are done in the same kind of breath. So as I come up, and I'm from over here, right, and I come up to there, this parry right here can catch a blade there. When it comes around to the other side, I can parry it there and then come over the top. I'll have Ryan jump in here and help me with this so that you can see it. We'll do it um, kind of static first. So as we're here, now, so what I'm gonna start doing is he comes in with the overhead strike that way, I parry to here. Now he's gonna come around to this side. And here, you see, is where this happens and I come up over the top, okay? So, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. like this, here's where that parry comes in, and then you're there. Notice that I'm overtaking his hands, Oops. okay, as he comes over this way, as soon as his, as soon as his pressure releases there, I'm bringing this here. And then notice how, where that brings my hands to, so that when I come over the top, I can get that strike. Now, let's say that I'm just out of, of range, right? And so I'm up here like this, he comes around to the top. I can use this now as a pair. And from here, slip underneath to start the Sarlacc sweep that way, if that makes sense. So again, as we come over here, it's up like that, down like that, and there. The important thing is, is that when we're coming around, we're doing it that way, so that there's a parry before. We don't want to try to get into this, where if I go over here and he comes around to this side, I just do this, because I'm getting hit in the hands, I'm probably going to be hit, getting hit in the gut, what have you, okay? So, from here, boom, Boom, there, you see, that's if we're out of range, okay? So now, if I do it up, there, and then overtake the hand, okay? To do the sort of like sweet part of it, there, 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 just like that, okay? So, <clears throat> The, uh, let's, let's go over here on this side so they can see it then. As we see, we come up to there. Here's the parry there. And then there's the thing overtaking the hands right there. Okay, we do the other one here. Boom, comes around, parry there, and come through like that. Okay. Either way, the important bit is 
we're doing the first chop chop in the form, right, with no with no circle. But those last ones right here, we got to do one and we come down. Just like that. It works even if we're here like this, even just from here. Bring it down, hooking there, right? Like that. If he comes up over the top, right? There's where we're gonna do this one. And then I can come in like that. Okay. So Until next time, have a great day. Happy savoring.